Good morning. What have we got? The plan is a little experiment on floating a needle with a pin on water. Just an ordinary bowl of water. And down here we've got two little sewing needles, obviously made of steel, which is mostly iron and very dense, so they should sink. Now, part of the experiment, we've got to prepare some tissue paper. So, I'm going to cut a little strip of tissue paper like that. And tissue paper is usually double thickness. So, we want to separate it out. So, it's very, very thin. And then we place the needle carefully on the paper like that. Now I shall move around here. Move the camera around and get it in position. Move the light a bit closer so we can see what we're doing. That might do. Right, then very, very carefully take the needle and lower it down on the water as slowly as you can. Now usually it sits there and floats on the paper, but we can carefully coax the paper and there we go. Now it moves, it's heading towards me, I'm over this side and it seems determined to come in my direction, no it stopped now I've got some magnets. I move, whoop, whoop. Now these are very powerful magnets. And it's making the needle go crazy. So I'm going to take just one of the magnets with the whole strip of them. So I've got one magnet, I can move it round to this side and attract it. And if I want to, I can turn the magnet around and move it towards me here. Now, oh, this is a north and a south pole we were talking about. Every magnet's got a north pole and a south pole, so that surface could be the north, that could be the south. So if I hold, let's just have a look here, we get really close. So if I take the magnet round to this side, I can attract it and if I flip it over it makes it go around the other way whoa it's getting out of control so let's put it this side so attract now let's see can you see which side I'm doing what I'll do I'm just going to take a guess about north so I've written an N on that side And I've written an S on that side. So, if you can see, I don't know if you can, that's the S side. So, it's attracting the sharp point to the S. And if I turn this around and 
use the north side, it attracts the north side. That was wrong. Edit. Now I'm trying to coax the pin into the middle, so there it's almost in the middle, and then take the magnet far away. No, it comes towards the camera. That's a bit of a problem. So I'm um, out of sight of the camera. I'm putting the paper on, and I'm putting the pin on the paper. In we come. Oh, I'm going to drop it. Down and let go of the paper. Now let's... Um, Encourage it to sink. Now let's watch the pins. Notice that they both lined up in the same direction and now they've joined. So obviously one end of it was the north and the other was the south. Can I move them without making them sink? Notice something that if I put the pencil in the water I can move the pin without actually touching it. I'm just touching the water on either side. Have a look at that. Now that might be giving you a clue as to what's going on. You need to look very carefully at the water by the pencil and see if you can spot something. Now if I move quite far away so that the metal in the camera is far away Notice which direction it's lined up. It's pointing this way. And if I coax it round, it's rather difficult to do, but if I make it go opposite, note that no matter what I do, it always comes around to point in this direction. Now, of course, there's bits of metal all over the place. There's the scissors. Do the scissors, yeah, see the scissors are moving it. So really, you need to take all the metal, all the steel, iron things away. And then the pins should line up north and south. Now it's roughly accurate. North is in this direction, I know that, and south is in that direction. Uh, so we have not only floated steel on water, but we've constructed a quite accurate compass. Not a practical compass, because if you wander around the bush holding this in your hands, you're going to wobble it and they will sink. Right. What have we got here? Washing up liquid. Now I'm going to get that pencil, which I've put down somewhere, and I don't know where it is. So, there it is, hang on. Now I'm going to very, very carefully just put a little bit of washing up liquid. I don't know if that got enough. Put the pencil into the end of the tube and I popped the pencil into the water and what was very clear to see was that the pins shot away. Let's try this side. That's quite spectacular. Yeah, nothing too much but it's going. And now it doesn't seem to be doing it. 
So the washing up liquid from the pencil tip has gone. I had to stop there and start again. The battery went flat on the camera. Um, that was actually about half an hour ago. So I put fresh water in. There's no soap washing up liquid in there um, because I want to do something slightly different. Now I don't know if you've been able to spot the strange effect on the surface of the water. Look at this shadow um, of the pins on the bottom of the bowl, trying to get it out to the middle. There we go. It's strange that a very thin needle has got such a huge shadow. Now look at the light at the edges of the shadow. It's coming towards the camera again, which is always a, an issue. I'm rotating the bowl, but you'll see the pin doesn't move. And there's a lot of science in there as well as to why that's happening. But if the light catches it just right, you might see, there we go, look at that, where the, the reflection of the light coming up to, to the pins suddenly goes a bit strange and it seems to go on the other side of the pins. So we're looking here and it's not doing it over there. I mean, if we do it there, the, the reflection of the lamp goes smoothly across the water. But here, it seems to break up and go all weird. And then out the other side. So that's something which I want you to have a think about. What, what clues is that giving to what's going on? Now I'm now going to put quite a lot of washing up liquid in the water to see what effects we can have. Now I'm going to put it on my finger. So I'm going to pour a great dollop on my finger there, all over the desk, making a mess, never mind. And from this side, I'm going to put a little drop of liquid, washing up liquid there. And you will have seen the pins rush across to here. So I'm now coming around with a drop of washing up liquid. I'm going to touch that side um, but it's not it's not moving so that's rather strange why did the pins run away from where the soap went in what is going on I'm now going to put lots and see if I can do something. I'm going to track the pins over. These scissors are slightly magnetic. Ah, there we go, it sank. So I'm gonna see now if I can do this again. I'm gonna take out a pin. I've got both pins because they were stuck to get that. <coughs> Clean the water and soap off them with the tissue and I'm going to stir up the water mix the soap in then cut another piece of tissue paper and then put a pin back on And come here very, very carefully. You can't have shaky hands when you do this. And gently, as slowly as I can,
it didn't work. It sank. Now maybe I shook a little bit, or maybe there's something going on. All right, I shall try again. Maybe I was just clumsy. Maybe I wasn't. So here we go, try and do this as slowly as I can. That was good, I haven't sunk it yet. But it sunk again, okay? So without the soapy water, it floats. With the soapy water, it doesn't float. What is going on? And there we go. End of experiment for today.